First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and the elders of Red Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth unto the true and sincere brothers that are out there prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. These are the these are the birth pains of the end times. All right, and we're at the end of a kingdom, all right, the end of Esau's kingdom, the end of Babylon or America, all right, and these are the birth pains that, that these plagues are the birth pains, birth pains that are taking place that are happening before this place is completely wiped out, all right, and in current, in current news, the Lord is plaguing Babylon with the storm and tempest, with these hurricanes, all right, you just have one hurricane that... You know, whether it's by the hand of Esau through their heart program, you know, weather modification, we all, it all goes back to the Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. All right, because nothing don't move until the Lord allows it to move. All right, so you had Hurricane Helene, which wiped out several small cities, mountain cities, and other parts of North Carolina, all right, with the addition to, you know, some parts of Florida got hit. And now we're on the brink of another hurricane that probably going to hit today, tonight, tomorrow. That's going to take out uh, or damage, you know, cause a lot of damage in the Tampa area and the surrounding areas. All right. And these are all just the plagues, excuse me, the birth pains of the plagues that the Heavenly Father is sending. All right. And, you know, through various, um, um, you got whistleblowers out there. The truth is coming out that Esau, all right, through their weather modification is, you know, got his hand in this. But like I said, it all goes back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It all goes back to the Lord. All right, this is all the Lord's doing, all, all the Lord's work. All right, let me read this, Daniel uh, 4 and 17. This matters by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the words of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it, give it, give it to whomsoever he will. And set it up over it the basis of men. And the basis of man is ruling right now. But the main point is the Most High rules in the kingdom of man. So the Most High has control over man in their actions and their intentions and what they do. All right. Let me grab another scripture. Uh, Psalm 70, 75. Yes. Uh, 75 and 6. Promotion cometh neither from the west nor from the, excuse me. Promotion come neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. The Most High is the judge. He put up down one and set up, up, set up, up another. All right, so we, you have to understand it's the Most High that's in ultimate control. All right, the Most High that's bringing these plagues, whether it be by the hand of Esau or not, it's the Most High. All right, and this is just a, a brief plague that's going to leave, you know, a lot of people homeless, a lot of people without power, a lot of people jacked up out there, mainly our people, Israelites, all right, that are, that that can't afford to evacuate, all right, that have nowhere to go, that got to tough it out through the storm and, you know, hopefully they survive, all right, not just their house, they, them themselves, all right, because a lot of people could possibly drown in this, a lot of debris is going to be flying around with these uh, uh, winds over 120 miles per hour, it's, it's, it's going to get, it's going to get really bad down there for our people, but our people are the ones that the Heavenly Father is going to judge first, okay? Because, you know, we belong to the Heavenly Father. Therefore, he's going to punish us, as it says here in Amos, um, Amos 3. I hear the word, and one, hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right, the Lord, yeah, it's nothing for the Lord to jack up a few heathens, all right, on the way, but he's going to jack you Israelites up first. And, you know, yeah, a lot of Edomites got hit, you know, uh, um, with that, that the first hurricane, Helene, um, but Jake got hit too. 
and Jake, the majority of Jake is one of the ones that's going to uh, 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 catch hell once this uh, this Hurricane Milton hits. All right, this is First uh, Peter four and um, seventeen. For for the time of excuse me, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it begin at us, what shall the end of what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? Okay, so judgment is going to be again at the house of the Lord, you Israelites. All right, these and this storm and tempest is one of the many plagues that the Lord is bringing. All right, it, not not to mention uh, um, the great confusion that's going throughout Babylon with this whole election. All right, where you got Jake trying to pick a side when that's just bringing more confusion amongst our people. All right, putting hope, false hope in a system in a corrupt system that has never been there for you. Okay, uh, um, of course the famine. All right, a great mass famine is coming. These are these are the birth pains. These are the plagues. All right, uh, and possibly civil war. Civil war is going to happen. Not possibly. It's going to happen. All right. This place is divided. All right. And and when and, and when shit really gets bad here, who who are they going to blame? You Jakes. All right. Our people are always the uh, 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 they always get the blame for everything. You were Jake was to blame for why the uh, pandemic couldn't get over soon enough because they wouldn't take the you know the jab. All right. Jake is the face of this. Jake is the face of this. Jake is the face of everything negative. All right, and 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 um and wicked. All right, and Esau makes it that way because they control the narrative. All right, but the ones that the ones that are repenting and turning to the Lord, the least Esau's not going to get. Esau's not going to be able to uh, um uh, uh um uh, uh you know use their uh, uh devices and witchcraft on the on the elect out there. All right, that can see through the bush, that understand. Yeah, this devil got the ability to uh, change weather and weather patterns and, you know, but at, at the end of the day, we know that the Heavenly Father is in control of this devil. All right, so let me grab, um, let me grab 2 Ezra 16, speaking of the birth pains of, of Babylon, okay, with, which, you know, and, and the closer and closer we get to the end, just like a baby's being born, the contractions, the birth pains become more intense, all right, so... This is nothing. This this uh, hurricane. This is nothing compared to how bad it's going to get here for our people. All right, let me grab that um, Daniel twelve and one. You know, uh, in refer reference to Jacob's trouble in that time, in that and at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, was standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never since, such as was never since there was a nation, even to the same time, and at that time the Thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And that's the book of life. That's the elect, the ones that's going to be, be, um, be uh, the one that's going to be delivered. All right, who Michael, the archangel, is going to stand up for. All right, hey, the, 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 it's members of the elect down here that's going through the storm right now. It's brothers out there uh, um, that, 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 you know, that, that live in that area, that, that are, you know, that have to go through it. But those brothers know that the Lord is going to cover it. Those brothers put their faith in the trust in the Lord. All right. Um, so back to Second Ezra, uh, what is it, sixteen, and um, I'm sorry, verse thirty-seven. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, and, and everyone thinks that you always, know, always, it has always been um, hurricanes in the Gulf Coast, in in, in, in the Gulf. Uh, of Mexico that, you know, come up and hit Louisiana and Houston and, you know, uh, Mississippi and, and Florida and, you know, different states over there on the East Coast. But these these storms are intense or have becoming more and more intense where um, they said, it says, uh, the storm stays on the current track. It will be the worst storm to impact Tampa area in over 100 years. All right. So these are, these are catastrophic, catastrophic events that, don't take place every year or every other year during hurricane season. These are events that, like I said, are just wiping out whole towns. You see the videos from um, what took place in Asheville and some other states in uh, state cities in North Carolina. Yo, that that flood, man, it, it was it was towns that were just swept away. Okay, and like I said, these are just the beginning. These are the birth pains. All right, these are the beginning of the plagues. All right, verse thirty-eight. 
as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her, can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. And those birth pains are, are not slacking, all right? The Lord is not slack, all right, concerning these prophecies, concerning these end times. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon upon it on every side. All right, it's going to be sorrows on top of sorrows. That's why import, That's why it's important that you Israelites, all right, that 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 you that you continue to repent and you continue to call on the Lord in your time of trouble, in your time of need, because we're going to need the Lord. We're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need the divine power to get us through the, these trying times we're coming into. It's going to be shit way worse, ten times, a thousand times worse than hurricanes. Okay. And that, that our people are going to have to go through, that the elect is going to have to go through, okay? Well, you know, where you're going to be put in situations where it's going to feel like you have no way out of it. But you want that's when you have to put your trust in, in, in the Lord, that he's going to deliver you, that he, you know, that, you know, he's going to make good on his word to to, to protect his elect, all right? Um, let's see. Um, are we 39? Yeah, kind of. Um, then I spoke of um, civil war. All right, and civil war is something that is kind of being ignored. A lot of things are going being ignored right now because, of course, the hurricane that's taking all the news uh, in, in, in this election. But the people are 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 you know the people are growing real. Um, they 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 they're losing they're losing hope in their this system. They're losing hope in their government. They're losing hope in, in, in everything. And people are going to eventually lose it. All right. And, and the Lord, this is always, this is, it's kind of always been a, um, a staple of a, a, a kingdom that has fallen. All right. Where the people are divided and, and they eventually come up, come up against each other and they come up against their government, the authorities. All right. That, that are, um, and, and you've seen this, you've seen, you know, you see that now with certain, um, you know, uh, uh, citizens of different countries coming up against their government. And a lot of these citizens are coming up against the governments that are um, are run by puppet leaders controlled by Esau. So every the world is rising up against this devil. All right. So um, let me grab. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to grab Mark. Mark three and um, I'm sorry, verse 23. I spoke on this place being divided and the division, all right, is part of those plagues. It's a part of the turmoil. The division is something that once the people become divided, it's, it's, it'll probably be, it'd be damn near impossible for everyone to come together for, uh, uh, um, you know, come back together and, 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 you know, make amends. All right. And, and that's not going to happen because the Lord said he's come to bring division. All right. He says, nay, I think that I come to bring to think that I come to bring peace peace nay but division all right this is mark uh three and 23 and he called them unto and he called yeah, and he called them unto him and he said unto them in parables how can satan cast out satan if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and you can clearly see that america's been divided by the this the, this whole bipartisan uh system but it's going to be even divided more by the rich and the poor all right, uh, uh, of course, the Democrats and the Republicans, all right, it's going to be divided by race, all right, they, they see what they're doing with this whole migrant situation, where, where Jake is really, you know, bugging out, because the migrants are getting these benefits, these benefits, and Jake ain't getting shit, all right, so the divide is, the divide is there, all right, and it's going to be, maybe can't become even greater, the closer and closer we get to this, the, the, the worst, the I mean, not the worst, the yeah, the you know the as times get you know more worse, all right. Where you got you got inflation. He mentioned hyperinflation, the um, you know uh, um, the job scarcity, all right. Homelessness homelessness is on the rise, all right. When people will go through these different situations, eventually they're gonna lose it, all right. Eventually they're gonna take out their anger and aggression on somebody, all right. Um, let me see. Um, I had Isaiah. 19, actually, let me go back to this real quick. 
I want to see if it said in the uh, NLT. Um, Mark 23. NIV, the kingdom be divided against the southern kingdom of God stand. I think it was the NLT, but uh, I think the NLT said a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. All right, and like I said, I spoke, you know, the scriptures speak on civil war. Here's another scripture that is, um, you know, going into how Egyptians, the Americans, all right, uh, um, current, you know, Babylonians, or this is modern day Egypt, are going to rise up against one another. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right, this is a, 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 a clearly a sign of, uh, of the end times, all right, fighting amongst citizens, all right? Let me see uh, what it says. I will stir up in Egypt, I will stir up Egyptian against Egyptian, brother will fight against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. It's one that says civil war. I think it's, let me see, is it in the, um, this GNT? And this hurricane is just, is, you know, it's just one of the plagues, all right? That's what's in the news right now, but here it is. Lord, the Lord says, I will stir up civil war in Egypt and turn brother against brother and neighbor against neighbor. Rival cities shall fight each other and rival kings will struggle for power. And we see that. It's a struggle for power, all right? The, the, the right against the left, all right? You, and, and possibly if Trump doesn't get in there, he's saying that there will be civil war. All right. And, and, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, the I won't say woke, but a lot of these Edomites that they Edomites, but they understand what's going on. If if if, you know, uh, Kamala Harris gets in there, they know hey, the, the new world, the new world order, uh, you know, it's going to be in, in full swing. All right. The image of the beast. All right. The whole LGBT, the whole cashless, all of that stuff is going to be it's going to be they're going to hit the fast forward button on uh, uh, the new world order. You know, but there's going to be resistance, and they know that. Therefore, there's going to be civil war. It's going to be uprising. Yahweh Shai spoke of these things, even though it was too, it was twofold when he was speaking of um, the fall of uh, the, the besieging of um, you know 70 AD. This is uh, Matthew uh, 24 and um, verse 7: For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning of the birth pains. Okay, that's the beginning of sorrows. All right, nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines. Well, we not even, I didn't really get it to hit on the famine because famine is going to hit this place. All right, and famine, I mean, famine, food is a necessity for everyone. Everyone needs food, to, you know, to, to, to live, really just water. But, you know, this, these gluttonous ass people in this country, they, they can't go shit a, a few hours without putting something in, you know, a, a stuff in their face with some GMO uh, uh, bullshit. Okay. But, you know, and we're coming, we're, we're, and the closer and closer we get to this, you're going to see wickedness at an all-time high, all right, where, where people have, you know, ain't going to have no regard for their actions. It's going to be iniquity on top of iniquity. That's why you you brothers and few sisters out there, you got to stay in the spirit. You got to stay locked in. You have to be circumspect, all right? You can't be distracted by all the folly of this bullshit, the folly in this world, all this bullshit in this world, all right? None of this stuff, when, when, when the shit hits the fan, none of this stuff is going to matter. Okay, about no gossip, about this person, about Diddy, and none of this bullshit. All right, you got so much drama and bullshit that Jake, Jake, you know, um, subscribes to in this world. It's not going to mean anything. Okay, um, the second Ezra is 15 and 14. Uh, let me see. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. And when the Lord sends these plagues, they not the Lord's not going to pull them back. The Lord's not going to say, you know what, I, I'm going to um, pull the plague of famine back, you know, for, for, for another year. Like, no, when these plagues begin to hit, they're going to hit, and they're going to hit hard. And they're going to they're gonna come, they're going to hit across the whole world. But here in Babylon is where they're going to hit the hardest, because these are the most wicked. 
the most gluttonous, wicked ass people. Oh, I hit totally. Let me see. Go back. Um, second Ezra 16. It's scripture I want to get in. Second Ezra 16 at the beginning. This um, here it is. Gird up yourselves, verse two. Gird up yourself with sackcloth and and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. All right. So it means be in a state of mourning, be in a state of penitence. All right. Don't be sitting up here just like you know thinking shit ain't gonna happen. All right. With that whole normalcy biased spirit, that thinking like oh everything is gonna be like this and you know I'm like nah everything everything in your life could is going to change and. And it's going to change fast. And, and when it happens, when the Lord said he's coming like a thief in the night, you ain't going to know what to do if, in, unless you got this truth or unless you got the names of the Heavenly Father and his son. All right. And, and unless you, you know, uh, uh, um, um, you're practicing faith. You got to practice faith now. So when the time comes, you know, you just can't faith ain't something you can just, uh, you know, turn on like a light switch. It's something that you have to have in you, something that you have to practice daily. All right. Verse three, a sword is set upon you. And who may turn it back? A fire is set among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the woods, or may any one quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot from a strong archer, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, the mighty Lord Yahweh sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? No one can drive these plagues away. Okay, it's going to be plagues on top of plagues, multiple plagues. Okay, when you think you overcame one plague, another plague going to be right there waiting on your ass. All right. Uh, back to Second Ezra 14. Um, excuse me, Second Ezra 15. Um, and I'll start, I'll start at 14 again. Behold, the plagues are sent, and he shall not and and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth, like as an arrow that is shot from a mighty archer, returneth not backwards. Even so, the plagues that are sent upon the earth shall not return again. All right. So the Lord is, he's, he's sending these plagues and, and, and the Lord is really showing mercy right now because the plagues are, you know, they're coming, but they're not coming like we know they're going to come. All right. When it's going to be plague on top of plague. All right. Where, where, you know, like I said, you can't recover. You're trying to recover from the, the, the last plague before the next plague hit. Everything's going to be. It's, it's going to come at you. It's going to come at everyone fast, all right? But the, those that are covered or those that have been chosen from the foundation of the earth are going to be, are, are going to make it through, all right? Are going to have that covering of the Heavenly Father, are going to be under that secret place of the Most High, are going to be in that secret place of the Most High, all right? Um, let me see. Uh, oh, you want to get, I didn't get this in Isaiah uh, 29. Uh, the Lord said in, um, the Lord sending the plagues through uh, the, the, the visit of Lord of hosts of, uh, let me see, I'll get it, uh, Isaiah 29, 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And damn, my brother put in the chat that, um, damn, what was it? Right now, with everyone's attention on the, um, everyone's attention is on the, uh, this, this hurricane that you know is going on down there you got a um a damn fire that's consuming uh i want to say montana yeah wyoming excuse me it says wyoming is burning right now i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up real quick Half of Wyoming is burning right now. I bet you didn't hear a peep about it. You'll never guess what's going on, uh, what they're what they're going after now. Nearly 73 hour, 73 acres of Bighorn National Forest are on fire. No one's talking about this. All right, this devil is this this devil is hard at work right now. This devil is 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 working overtime to to, to make sure he deceives you, to make sure that your mind you're distracted. All right, to to so, you know. These plays are going to come. These plays are going to come on, like I said, every side. All right. And, and you know, like I said, you got to be in, in that covering of the Lord. All right. You know, people, you know, disasters happen, earthquakes, all kind of shit happen here in Babylon and other parts of the world. And people's 
sentiment is, oh, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna recover. It's gonna, like, you know, they're gonna, they, like, they built the towers back in, um, in New York, and they, you know, put a memorial here, and people, people's minds is like, oh, they're gonna just build back. Okay, this is gonna, we're gonna get past this. Like, no, it's gonna get to a point where you ain't gonna get past it. All right, where you know, it, it's not gonna get better. It's not going to, um, you know. It, 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 it's it's never going to be better, all right? It's it's never going to be like things were. Or right? people think that things are going to be back, bef you know, be, be um, things are going to be as they were pre-COVID. Um, like, nah, it's, <laughs> it's never going to be the same, all right? So let me get one last scripture because um, that's, you know, that's a Jake thing. Jake has always had that, that, um, that mind state that, oh, when shit happens, are they just going to, you know, um, you know, build it back and, you know, build this town back or, or whatever. All right. No, it's not going to happen. All right. Cause the Lord wants Babylon to fail and, 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 it, and it's part of prophecy. This is uh Jeremiah 51 and six flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. And this is talking about Babylon, America. All right. You know, these, these, these dumbass Christians to say, oh, let's talk about Babylon in the ancient world. Like, no, let's talking about Babylon. Babylon has been a gold, Babylon, America, okay? Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad, all right? And the nations have drunken of that wine, that, that philosophies, but the nations are beginning to sober up, all right? The nations are coming to and, and seeing that, how, how you know, the, the, um, the negative effects all right, that 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 being in bed with Babylon has done to them and their people. All right, and the, the situation that Babylon has left them in, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reaches reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. All right, and that's the destruction. Of Babylon, all right, where, where, the, where the smoke is going to reach up to the sky, the heavens, all right, and, and but Babylon's not going to be healed, all right. They, they, you know, it's going to be places that down in Tampa that are destroyed that they never build back, okay. And you know, shit, it, it, who knows? Another hurricane might be right behind it, okay. And and like I said, this is all the Lord's doing. Even though Esau does have this weather 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 modification, it's the Lord that you know. Uh, it's an ultimate control. All right. So, hey, you got to, you know, you Jake's out there, be circumspect and understand the times that we're living in. We're living in uh, uh, prophetic times and, and, you know, a hey, be circumspect and, and, and um, you know, oh, stay in the spirit. All right. You know, don't let bullshit from this world confuse, you know, uh, yeah, confuse you or, and, um, and, you know, and, um, and take you. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakodash, Shalom.